Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. As usual, we need to start by showing off our results from the Extreme Forex Premium Signals Group. And thankfully, it was really one great week. We only had two bad days. I think there was uh, uh, Thursday and Tuesday. Uh, we have some uh, signals have reached uh, the stop loss however that is very normal in forex and i have explained that to everyone that not every day will be very profitable there will be some bad days and for these days we need to prepare by using a proper money management system you need to trade only the profits that you have made instead of trading your investments so as you can see friday most of the signals have reached the take profit level maybe except for AUTCHF. Um, thursday was bad as i told you and I think Wednesday was really great. We can see most of the signals have reached the uh, take profit number two and three as well. Um, Tuesday was not good at all, except for the CAT CHF, which has reached the 100 pips of profit take profit level three. Monday was really great. As you can see, the beginning of the week was outstanding. So many, I think all of the signals have reached the take profit levels. Now, thankfully, we have so many uh, good and positive messages from the members who are really enjoying uh, our signals. As we can see here, this gentleman said another great day. Thank you, Angela. Have a great weekend. You are a forex beast. Sacrifice love always. Not sure what sacrifice means in this context. However, thank you, sir. Uh, this gentleman here who always surprised me, he have made $1,829 profit in just one day. Uh, as he said here today, my subscription and have a great weekend, will subscribe tomorrow. So he wants to also to renew his subscription. So if you don't think he's enjoying the signals, why would he subscribe again? Uh, regardless the bad days we had, he's still making tons of profit. This gentleman here is very good example, if not the best example of how to use our signals properly and how to make a lot of profits using the signals. So in the end, if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact Angela. You can find her contact details in the description below this video. Contact her today and hopefully we will see you there. So let's start right now with the weekly analysis and as usual, we will start analyzing the Euro USD. Now, the first thing we can notice in the Euro USD on the daily candles or the daily chart is that the market has finally managed to close on a bearish candle or a red candle on uh, that resistance level after successfully closing as a bullish candle for the last nine days, more than a week. So seeing this red candle here indicating that that resistance level and that resistance as well uh, has been respected the market could not actually reach or break out from the level 1.13737 now seeing this price action here indicating a bearish reversal therefore we're going to short the euro usd this week and if you notice i have drawn here this orange box now let me explain to you what this uh, orange box means uh, that orange box here it means that this is the resistance zone and this is our safe area because if we go to the four hour chart, I'm going to send the signal that we can start shorting the Euro USD at the level 1.13180. And as long as the market is inside this box here, you can keep the trade running safely. This is going to be called our safe box. As long as the market is inside this box, we should be fine. If we see any bullish breakout candle outside this zone here, please close the trade with the loss. And please let me remind you, that is not your stop loss. Please, guys. Uh, 1.13737 37 is not a stop loss, all right? It's not a stop loss. This is only the box of the resistance zone. And we can keep the trade running as long as the candles are inside this box. So for the Euro USD, we're going to short the market at 1.13. Uh, 13180 and we can keep the trade running until it hit that nearest support level take profit is going to be on 1.11961 now one more thing i need to explain here uh, on daily candles as we can see we had this uh, previous support level which was uh, a strong resistance at the key resistance for a really long time for we are talking about since almost completely one year Therefore, we can actually start buying the Euro USD exactly on that level. That might be given at the midweek analysis video. Uh, however, I think uh, on Monday and Tuesday and early morning on Wednesday, we can expect for the market to keep falling down and reach that support level. I really highly doubt that the market is going to break out from that level. 
I don't see it happening at all. Therefore, it's gonna be safe and profitable in my opinion to start shorting the euro USD right here and keep it only until that level. Don't be greedy, please. Uh, that should be a fair take profit level. And in case the market reach this level quickly, we can start buying the uh, euro USD. So let's assume that on Monday even on Monday evening or Tuesday evening, the market has reached this level of the take profit level. I can tell you, you can safely start buying the euro USD again and the take profit is going to be the opposite now and it's going to be on the sell area. So that's my analysis for the euro USD. Hopefully it's going to be good, correct. Now, going to the pound USD. Uh, the pound USD, as we can see, has also reached this strong resistance level and the market still not actually reached it. However, it's now in the zone as I, had, uh, I have drawn here. So let's now go to the four hour chart and let me just tell you if we go back again to the daily candles that the market has reversed right on that resistance zone, a uh, resistance trend line. As you can see, we had this resistance trend line uh, going like that and seems like the pound USD has eventually reversed on that resistance zone and it's going to continue falling down until it hit that support level and in my opinion from that point we can start again buying the pound USD and eventually the pair is going to break out from that support air resistance trend line. Now that is on daily candles so therefore we cannot really start now uh, we cannot buy the pound USD at all especially after seeing the reversal on that resistance trend line. So what is the right thing to do? We are just gonna wait until the pair reverse for another 25 pips. We are going to place the uh, sell order right here. We can start shorting the pound USD at 1.26904. And if we notice here, I have drawn also the safe box, <coughs> the safe box, which is going to be last for 60 pips. Now, the idea here is um, if the market has actually break out from that safety box, it means that the market has actually break out also from the resistance trend line and that means that the market is going to continue rising above that resistance trend line. It means that the market is going to continue the rising. <coughs> Therefore, uh, let's be careful please and if you see any b uh, bullish breakout candle breaking out from that level, we might consider the close with the trade with the loss. However, as long as the market is ranging inside this box, we should be fine because looking also at the left, we can see that we also had that strong resistance zone and we can notice that the market has failed to break out of that zone for a really long time. So that's going to be our uh, safety area as you can see and we can keep the trade running. Let me just show you until it hit that previous support level. Let me just reduce it like that. So the take profit is going to be about 105 pips. Hopefully going to be in profit. Take profit on 1.25830. And I think from that point we can start again buying the pound USD. However, don't do that until we see the price action. Um, we need to be safe and we need to be sure about our signal. Now let's go to the AUD USD. Now, as you can see on the AUD USD, I have also drawn the resistance trend line and we can see that the pair kept reversing here and there until finally it reached uh, on the third attempt and seems that the pair is going to also reverse all the way until the market hit that previous support level, which was also a strong key support level right here. So that support level is going to be respected. And I believe if the pair has reached that support level, we can again buy the AUD USD. But until then, we can actually start shorting the pair. And frankly speaking, we can start shorting right away. The pair is still on the resistance uh, area, as you can see. I think it might reverse only for a few pips. However, it's not worth uh, to miss uh, the opportunity. We can start shorting the AUD USD almost right away. Let me just give the signal. Uh, sell on the level 0 0.69747 which is almost there and that is your uh, safety zone as you can see it's gonna last for almost uh, 46 pips I really don't see the pair actually uh, breaking out from that zone and also the same thing we can notice here if you see the candle has actually made the break out of that zone here it means that this resistance trend line has been breaking out 
I need to remind everyone, those who are skipping the videos, this is not your stop loss. 0 0.70220 is not your stop loss. Please keep your eyes on the trade and be sure that if you see any bullish breakout candle out of the resistance zone or out of the safety box which I have drawn, then you can close the trade with the loss. If you see the candle actually break out of it, not reached it, because there is a high chance that the market might reach the line here 0 0.70223 and then it's gonna reverse. So please. Be careful and don't set it at your stop loss at all. Now let's check the USD CAD. Uh, USD CAD, as we can see, if we go to the daily candles, has already reached that previous resistance, like here, exactly right, uh, right there. And we can expect from the USD CAD to actually reverse and go for almost 90 pips. Now, am I advising you to buy the USD CAD? Not really. We need to wait for the best opportunity to start selling the USD CAD. So it might take some time for the pair to actually reach that level. It can, it's going to be 82 pips. However, USD CAD is actually better for the sell this week. And we're going to sell uh, the USD CAD on the level 1.35027. Now, actually, I can tell you to buy the USD CAD. However, it's not smart at all to buy the pair right now at this ranging market, especially when the bearish momentum is very strong. Uh, we just need to wait for the best opportunity and the best opportunity is going to be for the sell, but it's going to take really long time for the pair to reach the safe area for the sell. We are talking about almost 84 pips. Uh, we have to wait for it until we can start finally uh, selling the USD CAD. If you want to buy, let me just uh, um, do something for you. Since I know a lot of you guys really hate to waste the opportunity, um, <clears throat> let me give you both of the signals actually for the USD CAD since we can see that we're having safe zone which is going to be lasting for uh, 40 pips only. And uh, let me actually give me a moment, I need to pause the video just to be sure that I'm giving you the best uh, signal. Alright, so I have edited the signal and let me tell you that I highly advise you to wait for the best moment to start shorting this, the USD CAD. However, those of you who really want to trade the pair and want to take the risks and just let me tell you that I don't take any responsibility at all if you want to buy the USD CAD right now. Uh, the USD CAD actually you can place the buy order if you want, if you wish to, uh, on the level 1.134. 1.34081 since we are actually on that strong support level and as you can see I have drawn also for you the safety box or the safe uh, zone where we can expect for the pair to continue ranging inside of it so we can start buying the USD CAD after just 10 pips and it's gonna reach uh, the buy uh, the buy order and if you see the market actually ranging inside that box it's gonna be still safe to keep the trade running eventually it's gonna go up and I really think that it is much more safe to wait for the CAD, USD CAD to reach the level of the sell area. However, it's totally up to you. I'm just telling you how I'm expecting the market to move and I'm leaving the rest for you. It's like that. It's going to go here and then go up here reaching the entry point and then going to continue the fall. So it's really up to you, my friends, if you want to buy the USD CAD or not. I'm just giving you the advices here. And of course, if you if you buy the USD CAD, the sell option or the sell area is going to be, of course, the same of the take profit. And if you sold the USD CAD, uh, the take profit level is going to be. Let me just uh, change it. So let's say we start shorting the USD CAD here. The take profit level is going to be on uh, 1.33187 as the bottom of that support level. So here is your signal for the USD CAD. Please be very careful when you are trading that pair because I think we have made the signal somehow complex. However, uh, it's normal. We need to go along with the market and see how it's going. Uh, let's now start with the, U the USD GPY. Now the USD GPY has uh, reversed also on that resistance level as we can see, which was also in the past a strong key support level. Now, the pair, I think, could not actually reach uh, or actually uh, exceed that level. Therefore, we can start safely selling the USD GPY right away and keep the trade running until the market reach the next key support level, which was <coughs> right here. 
as you can see also we had the safety uh, resistance uh, line here or the safe box um, we can notice also that at the top of that box where the market has reached that resistance but could never break out of it until recently and then immediately fall down and again the market went up against that level and again go down so the market is really trying hard to break out of that resistance level however it keeps failing therefore it's going to be safe to start selling the USDGPY right away. Uh, however, um, just to be safe, I really think we can expect a little pullback only for 7 pips. Yes, that, that should be really fine. Uh, anyway, I'm going to give the signal for sell now the USDGPY. And you can keep the trade running, as I said, inside this box zone here or the uh, safety box. And it's going to be maximum of um, 55 pips uh, and again I don't I'm not telling you that this is a stop loss guys please I know I'm, I'm gonna see some comments gonna say oh Salah it hit the stop loss and actually I don't know what will happen to me if I see if I see that <laughs> because I'm telling you it is not a stop loss my friends all right it is just a safe box and it's only gonna be a stop loss if the market has actually made the bullish breakout candle out of that zone Alright, so since we are selling the USDGPY right here, let's see how many pips we can expect as a profit. Uh, let me just uh, draw the support zone correctly. I think it's going to be right here at the top of that resistance, which is also here a good support. And right here, uh, it's exactly right here also. Oh yeah, definitely. Look at that. Perfect. So definitely, yes, that's going to be our take profit level. Let me just increase it a little bit. And the take profit is going to be on 108.525. At that point, I believe we can again uh, buy the USDGPY after it fall for almost 100 pips. Uh, hopefully going to be in a good profit. Okay. Let's go now to the USDCHF. Now, for the USDCHF, uh, let's go to the daily candles. And what we can see on the USDCHF is that the pair has actually made the reversal on that strong key support level. What we can see right here is we had a, f uh, a fake breakout from the support level. So the market didn't really break out of this uh, support zone and ended on Friday above that support again. So meaning that the USDCHF is going to continue rising until it hit the uh, trigger area where we actually we can see that we had a previous support levels and the market is gonna actually hit that uh, retest the broken support and then gonna continue falling more down so what are the options then we have for the USDCHF um, we can have actually two signals for the USDCHF same like the uh, USD CAD we can actually buy the USDCHF at the level 0.959 one three and i'm telling you again for th the same thing i said for the usdchf it's really much better if we wait for the pair to reach the sell area the sell area is going to be here right on let me just tell you the sell is going to be 0 0.96765 and the same thing with the other pairs that is our safe box and it's gonna be for almost 50 pips and then at that point we can start selling the USDCHF but however since we are seeing that the pair is rising for, for that uh, uh, to hit that support level or to retest that broken support then why not we can start also buying the USDCHF but just to be sure I want to give you the safest entry possible and in my opinion the safest entry is going to be when the pair actually fall down to retest that support level and then it's gonna rise all the way until it hit also our uh, entry level of the sell so it's really up to you my friends I'm expecting to uh, for the USDCHF to move exactly like that moving hitting that support level hitting the sell area and then gonna continue falling that's the general uh, direction of the USDCHF in my opinion and let me tell you the main signal is for the short but the buy one is really optional it's up to you if you want to do it or not now let's go for the gold now for the gold i can easily tell you that we can start buy the gold right away however i'm not gonna do that uh, the gold is more sensitive for uh, or actually more uh, subjective 
for the events or the news uh, in the world so I really don't want to give the signal to buy the gold and in my opinion the best thing we can do is wait for the best opportunity for shorting the gold and that best opportunity is going to be sell at 1699.81 I don't really see the gold is gonna exceed that level uh, we can see that we had here a bullish pin bar uh, the gold has actually reversed from that key support level as we can see uh, we had here this key support level and the market could not actually break out of it for a long time and even recently when the market has reached that level it again reversed that leaves us noticing here that we had this strong bearish breakout candle from that support level and that uh, bearish breakout candle has never happened at all before in the gold Th therefore our best options is gonna be for the short uh, at the level 1699 1, and then keep the trade running until the market hit that strong key support level on 1659 that's gonna be our best opportunity so we we'll, let's wait for it please don't rush uh, buying the gold right now if you want to buy it it's really up to you I cannot uh, tell you what to do of course so the tech profit is gonna be 1659.81 uh, but for those who just want to know how, or um, they want to see how I'm expecting for the market to move um, what I'm expecting is to be honest frankly speaking that the pair might actually go up to that uh, strong support level in the past then gonna fall down uh, on the same level of that previous support level then going to hit our uh, sell area and from that point the pair is gonna fall down to hit our take profit level so in general speaking uh, this uh, bullish pin bar cannot be ignored I expect for the goal to reverse at that previous support level as I said and then it's gonna move as I draw it here so buying the gold is really up to you I don't take any responsibility for it what I'm taking or I, I don't take responsibility for anything of this to be honest but my advice is is to wait for the gold to reach the sell area on 1699.81 that is gonna be the best option for selling the gold in my opinion uh, it's totally up to you if these signals worked or not um, it's all up to you my friends and if anything happened if these signals went immediately wrong uh, due to some news or, or events or any statement from the world's uh, leaders I'm going to make an early uh, midweek analysis video again and going to tell you what I'm expecting to happen next so until then I really hope this is gonna be very profitable and good week for everyone and I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching